I'd like to now talk about klezmer music in the United States. Because in the late 19th and early 20th century, there was a great influx of Jewish people into the United States. And of course, they brought their music with them. When they got here, around the turn of the 20th century, they found that there were a lot of different opportunities for themselves that actually didn't really exist in Europe. In addition to playing weddings and bar mitzvahs, which they were always doing, they also had the chance to play parades in restaurants, political rallies, and importantly, they played for a kind of a burgeoning popular cultural force in the United States, the so-called Yiddish theater. A lot of klezmer tunes that we know today were actually born from the, from the Yiddish theater. And they were played by the Jewish musicians in the pit bands of that time for the shows. Now, of course, Jewish music being what it is, it naturally started incorporating that as well. And not only that, when the Jewish musicians started playing jazz a little later on in the 1920s and 30s, some of that influence started getting into klezmer music as well. And it became a kind of a combination of all these things. I'd like to play now a little sample of one of the most popular tunes that came out of the Yiddish theater. This is a very famous tune which actually found its way into the hit parade of, the, of American popular music, uh, ultimately. The name of it is By Mir Bister Shane, or To Me You Are Beautiful. It's written for the Yiddish theater by a man named Shalom Sekunda. And it was a, an important song in the theater, but it was picked up by a man named Sammy Kahn, a, a, also a Jewish composer and lyricist who, who liked the tune when he heard it, and he decided that he was going to try to get the rights to it and make a hit out of it. And he bought the rights for a very small amount of money, and then hired the Andrews sisters to make a hit out of the tune after he translated the Yiddish words into English. And it's still played today. Benny Goodman, in his famous 1938 Carnegie Hall concert, played this tune in a very jazzy version. I'd like to now play a little bit of the melody of, by Mir Bister Shane. 